Oh, we're fighting over this segment. And we're back now with the host of Tanya's Kitchen Table. She has a new cookbook out. It's called Tanya Holland's California Soul. Welcome to GMA. Thank you. Thank we got you. quite a crowd because we're making I a see that wonderful they smell comfort food. Everything and pork chops. Yeah. Apple pork chops. My pork chops bring all the. Okay. But, but listen, we're not doing <laughs> apple sauce. We're doing just the apples. We're cutting the apples. But the key I'm learning is the brine. The brine is going to help just uh, you know make the flavor of the apples pop. So it's really easy. Let's talk Let brine because okay. this is new to me. So what I like to do is heat it in a pot. Okay. I have some apple cider, a little bit of water. Okay. Instead of sugar, maple syrup. Nice. So that's my sweetener because the brine. And then there's a, it, it, there's also what we salt. A lot of right? salt. Okay. Because yeah, the brine you really want the salt and the sugar and that's what gives it the uh, juiciness, the tenderness, yes. all the flavor. Uh, so I put that in the pot. We're going to reduce it. Here's some that's reduced. That's and reduced. And how long does that take? Bit. Just tell me like so that. 30 minutes. You know, 30 minutes. Heat it up, let it reduce a little bit, then let it cool. Okay. Before you pour it over your pork chops. So I've got some. Wonderful. Wow, these guys are excited. We are very excited. <laughs> Thankfully, you made I a lot. I got some really uh, thick cut pork chops, which are great. And uh, they can go a minimum of 24 hours as long as 48. In the brine. And they're still going to have like that salt is going to permeate and the okay. sugar but not be too so no over. less than 24 hours that's right okay that's and right. then you do them in a pan yes i like to sear them okay Start with a good sear listen to that sizzle yeah. so, so sear both sides do you also do the edges um, I have a friend yeah, who does that. I don't have to with these because these are going to finish in the oven. Okay. Um, so we're just going to let them get a nice so boom, sear boom, on that and side. then in the little, oven. A little oil. Oh, actually, we need to put a little of the seasoning on top. What's, and what's, what's your good. seasoning? Uh, I use a little onion powder, garlic powder, and bay leaf crush. So can we talk about the apple component? Because yeah. you serve your pork chops with country fried apples. Yeah, and I'll tell you where that came from. So my uh, paternal grandmother uh, was in Virginia, and I spent summers with her, and apples were always like a condiment at yeah. the breakfast table, like potatoes with apples, apples with hash browns. And what so it's kind of bad? like an ode to her. Yes. Okay, so, so this same one, we're going to, yeah, you put those in there. Okay. Careful, slowly. Oops. Um, it's not too, no, I just thought it was going to be hot and splatter you, but we want to get a good sear on these. Okay. Um, I like using a green apple because it has nice and tartness. Tart. Yep. Yeah. Even though, and it has natural sugars, but it just really marries well with pork. But what I wanted to tell you is this same brine, because I know you're doing Thanksgiving, yes. can also be used for turkey. Okay, great. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, basically it's got all the components of a traditional brine and just like, you know, you make it, you could double it or depending on the size of your turkey, awesome. uh, double the recipe or triple it. And it's like inexpensive. It's I want to finish this because we have friends. Oh, they're coming up. Oh, okay. 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 Quickly, quickly. quickly. So we. So this is uh, some of the um, the brine that was left over. Yeah. And we're gonna pour a little uh, first season our apples, a little salt, a little pepper, pour a little over it. It kind of makes this little gravy. And then yeah, and then the, butter. in the oven the, uh, goes the pork chop for and how long? Pull them out. Uh, use a temperature um, a thermometer. Yeah. Pull them out at 145 degrees. Mm. Okay. You kind of touch them, but you know the thing about brine is you don't have to cook them until they're dry. Yeah. Mm. So they're really you know nice and moist and, and perfect. I'm exactly. guessing. Um, you also brought along. We're not gonna have time to give the recipe, but that's uh, but, okay because we're gonna get it. Mike is already it's into them. Oh, I, look at this is already half eaten <laughs> in the commercial break. Pimento These pop cheese popovers. Yeah. Are so every to die for. every <laughs> recipe in the book is like you think like what's soulful about it and what's California about it. Mm -hmm. So for me, like cooking with fruit and apples, this pork, brine, this brine and then is that really is, good. you know, popovers, I really start We're going to get I, all the recipes. West. We're going to share it with you guys. You. You're Thank welcome. QR code. There it is. It's right there on your screen. <laughs> the cookbook. You. California Soul. <laughs> Maybe I should have waited. California Soul out today. We thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.